What's up, YouTube? It's Otis RHW. Um, I'm showing you how to do a VNC connection to your iPad. So, in other words, I'm showing you how to take and see this screen on your iPad on your PC. Alright, so if you want, um, it helps for when you're making themes and doing stuff like that or doing tutorial videos. Um, and you want to show people what you're doing you can use this on your iPhone or iPod also alright so you want to go to this page here www.uvnc.com forward slash download forward slash 1082 forward slash 1082 viewer dot html that's what you want to type in exactly that will bring you to this page this is the viewer only so if you're an advanced user and you want to use some other thing you can go download the full version but um, basically you need to find out if you're on Windows 32-bit or 64-bit so on your computer go to Go to your start button on XP, the circ this same symbol on Vista, and do exactly what I'm on 7. So. But this will work on all of them. Go to computer from there. You go to start, then go to computer here. And then you'll come up with this. Go to system properties. And then right there you can see 64-bit operating system. Under system type, that's what you need. So I'm on 64-bit. You guys will be on uh, whatever, 32 maybe. But that's where you go find out. Okay, so now that you got that, go ahead and download the right one for you. I've done this tutorial like a couple times, so I've already downloaded this like three or four times. But I'll do it again. Alright, you need WinRAR to open this file. Uh, you might be able to use like 7-zip or something, I don't know. But it's a RAR file. WinRAR is free, just Google search right here this word. WinRAR uh, download. And then it should be the first link. And you can get a free version. That's what I have right now. So then you'd highlight these files. By um, click and drag up. And then click extract to. Then desktop. Then click OK. I already did it. So it's going to ask me if I want to replace them. But I'm not going to because I already did it. But on yours it will install it. And you'll have a little icon on your desktop which should be this one right here then when you click on this you're gonna have to put your IP address in here I have mine entered <clears throat> but I'll connect to my I this is the IP address of your iPad every device that's connected to a Wi-Fi address like if your home network was uh, three numbers three numbers then a one and a three then that's probably the third device that you connected so usually the end number is like your computer would be number one your iPhone would be number two and your iPad would be number three the last digit alright but so I'm going to connect to my iPad to show you how to find your IP address see this viewer is a little bit laggy but go to settings if I find a better one I'll let, I'll I'll do a video on it this is the first one I've ever tried then go to Wi-Fi And this is my network. Click that.
And then you'll have this. This is your IP address, the top one. So that's the number. You can write that down or whatever. That's the number. Or while well, you'll be looking at your iPhone, iPad, iPod. So go ahead and while that's open. Oops. I gotta disconnect to go back and show you guys. So while that's open, go ahead and type that number right here. And all you gotta do is click connect. Your iPad or iPhone or iPod will say um, remote access request. And then you click accept. And then it's just asking you in case someone else is trying to connect, it warns you about it. So, um, okay, so now I'm connected to my iPad. Um, while I'm here, I guess I'll show you something that came in. Let's see. Something that I thought looked pretty cool. This is Installus. 3.1 or something like that. The newest installers it got updated I think yesterday. But uh, this is a pretty cool deal if you ask me. Um I like the way this is set up a lot, so I just thought I'd show you guys this while I was in here. How it's set up and how it works. There's like downloads. There's a search. Uh, settings. These are all the different settings you can do. So, pretty cool deal. See up here if you click download. There is something weird with this on the iPad. Um, when you click on stuff, it kind of doesn't catch it right. So you might have to do the touching on your device a little bit more than just the mouse on your computer. Uh, but see, that's how it works with the downloads. And then if you open it, it pop back up in this page. Uh, another thing that's pretty cool <coughs> oh. I just lost connection I think it's got to do with the fact that I'm doing this um, screen recorder and this at the same time actually no it's not I'll be back in one second. All right, sorry guys. Um, my router was actually the thing that was freaking out there. Alright, so what you want to do, or, or another thing I wanted to show you guys on here was how Rock was set up now on the iPad. You gotta love the way this looks on the iPad, right? So I'll just pick a an app. That's just how it all pops up. <clears throat> 